Hi guys, I'm Pastor Mitch and welcome to your word for the day. This week, we are answering the question, what does Easter mean to me? So Easter is a wonderful holiday. It's one where I look forward to spending time with family because we get to do weird things like dye eggs and hide candy for our kids to find. But when I really think of Easter, I don't think of eggs and bunnies. I think of the fact that I am a sinner in need of a savior. See, this week, we've been chatting on what Easter means to us because we want you to think or even rethink what this day means to you. For most non-Christians, it probably isn't on their list of favorite holidays. It doesn't have the boom of Independence Day or the crazy amounts of sugar that we get with Halloween or the level of gift giving that we enjoy with Christmas. But I truly believe that it is the holiday most worthy of our celebration. See, when I think of Easter, I'm reminded of the cross and the fact that Jesus died for me. Jesus, who was God in the flesh, who lived a perfect and sinless life, he died for me. Someone who is continually battling with temptations of sin. In fact, Romans 5.8 says that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. John 1 tells us that Jesus is our creator and that we were made by him and through him. And as the second member of the Trinity, as God himself, he has these divine attributes that no one else has that he's all-powerful, that he's all-knowing, he's all-good. And even knowing who I was going to be, even before the beginning of time, he deemed me worthy of being created. Even knowing the evil that I would do in my life, he deemed me worthy of his own sacrifice. And if you are online listening today, he made the same judgment call about you. See, we often believe the lie that God owes us for uh, our good behavior, but the truth is that we can never fully pay him back for the sacrifice that placed him on the cross for us. And I don't want to end today talking about the cross because that's not where the story ends. See, Easter isn't just about Jesus' death, but more accurately, it is all about his resurrection. It's about his victory over death and, and the victory that he wants to share with us. See, it started on the cross. In fact, the moment that Jesus died, the Gospel of Matthew tells us that the temple veil, uh, temple veil this massive 60-foot-tall curtain, that was about four inches thick, this curtain that was used to separate sinful people from a holy God, that it was torn in two from top to bottom, signifying that God no longer wanted sin to be able to separate us from himself. And the resurrection then signified that Jesus' total victory over sin and death. And then it gives us hope that God has something amazing planned for us. That even as we are in the process of overcoming our own struggles, I want you to have hope today because Jesus has already paid the price to give that hope to you. As we continue sharing what it is that Easter means to us, I want you to start thinking through this conversation of what Easter means to you and then leave your thoughts in the comments below. Please go ahead and like this video and share it with your friends and family. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day, and we will see you tomorrow.